you, buddy. Look where we're at, man. Ace, look where we're at, buddy. Come on. Get out of here. Come on. What are we going to do today? Huh? What are we doing, man? Wow, look at this place. Hey, everybody. We're at the Mountain Shire here in we call Sevier County, Tennessee, which is where the home of Dolly Parton, Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge. 14 million people a year come to this area to see things like this right here. These little bitty communities tucked in all these mountains at the foothills of the Smokies. This is called Mountain Shire. We had the privilege of being able to design and help design these homes back in here. Uh, several of them, there are some that are not ours, but we're gonna show you only ours, right? And it is Hobbitville. I say that, it's called Mountain Shire, which is a bunch of hobbit looking homes. And you'll see a big difference from the conventional ones back here that are just kind of in here now to get some revenue for the re overnight rental business. But we hope the owner hopes to fill this full of more of our hobbit houses from incredible tiny homes. So let's take a tour and look at this beautiful place. And at the end of this video, we're gonna get to talk to the owners and their vision and dream and where they're wanting to go from here and hopefully we'll get to poke our head in some of these little bitty houses that they've turned into some really whimsical looking homes. Now think about this. This is a tiny home on wheels, right? That we trucked here from our, you know, our factory about, I don't know, probably 50 miles from here into here and it doesn't even look, there's no way it's gonna like, oh my God, it's still on wheels. So come on, let's see what it looks like. All right, this entryway is, you almost gotta sit down and just start looking at it. Because Joe put this together. Joe's one of the owners here. And this the stuff that he used to create this is amazing. And a lot of it is just used stuff. Trees off the land. All these are pieces of trees, right? Now, it looks like this tree is like four foot long in there. And all it is is a couple inches thick. But he has stacked and stacked and stacked every one of these things. And then you can see the polyurethane finish that he's put on it. I love the roofing up there. What he's taken is, it's, it's more, instead of thinking about, hey, how can this thing be looking like a structure? It's more of, hey, how cool can it look? So he's been able to take these big rocks. Nothing was here, okay? So he's taking these rocks. Look at the, the, uh, the way these, they've held back the dirt. Because they've used some old corrugated steel with some cedar posts dro driven into the ground, right? And of course, all of their flowers and landscaping and old barn wood shutters and this is fun stuff this is a way you can be real creative and you don't have to worry about it leaking you don't have to worry about the longevity of it you just kind of keep adding and adding stuff but this is the entrance into the mountain shire come on in everybody that's nice cool little tunnel this is where you would carry your luggage so you're going to park out here now you walk to your house and i love the idea of that you're going to walk to your cottage instead of park right next to it right so he made this entrance which is just a, it's almost like you're gonna walk through here and now you're into this little village, which you're away from everything, even though town's just a little bit far away. You walk in here and now you got this little mountain shire place that you can come and relax. They've got some outdoor venue stuff for you to sit, an outdoor little fireplace, a little water fountain, a little cove, come here and relax, some games, just some stuff to make you feel, a little barbecuer, isn't this cool? This is really pretty. And it's just like a structure back here, you know? So on a on an evening that you're done with the touristy stuff over in town, you come out here and you get to meet some friends, talk, hang out. And everything here, there was, remember, there was nothing here before. So Joe and his crew put all this together. I know Joe told me, he said he, it was a labor of love that he'd been doing this, but this is really nice. And what I like about it is Joe's not a builder, right? Joe doesn't know anything about construction i think he does now after doing all this you learn after a little yeah bit. but he did it and it looks good because it looks i always said when i lay stone for a fireplace i made it look like it was done by a farmer and it yeah. has more personality to it right yeah. so you don't even though the the roof the rafters a little crooked or something it gives it, it character. Gives it character. And that's what you want. Yeah. That's what you want. And you know, the look too, with the barn wood, <clears> with the <throat> great vines and stuff like that, you want it to feel like that it is a hobbit shire. Yeah. That built, a hobbit exactly. that built it and things like that. And being out in the woods, even though this is right beside the road, 
This is not out in the woods. No, but you're you not. You want to create half a mile from town. I know. You want to create you see, that oasis. Look at this rope wire. I mean, I, I didn't. Know. It's got electricity Lights on it. It's a rope. I never seen that. Yeah. God, I got to get out more. Look at this, and look. There, just naturally, there's a spider web. You know. Aww. It's just cool looking. Everything just looks super cool. Just let things be. Let be natural yeah. and grow into it. And that's what this is all about. I love it. Look at the log here, how it still has like all of the stuff on the log. Well, you know, somebody would say, well, why put a log in the ground when it's going to rot? Well, it may take 20 years. That's right. To rot. Let it go. Let it go. Look at these. Nice. It is just, it's just really pretty. So we're at the Mountain Shire. Yep. You know what I love a story mm -hmm. of? I love a story of nothing because it reminds us of uh, the property where we're at. Yeah. There was absolutely nothing there, and now look what it's become. It's That's become right. affordable housing for 230 people yeah. thus far. It's nice. It's yeah. amazing. I mean, create a destination. Yes. You don't have to have the destination. You create the destination. Create the destination. Right. Hey, listen, that we're going to coin that. We're going to coin that. Create create the destination. All right, you guys ready? We're going to take a walk over here and show you these beautiful hobbit houses. All right, here we go. We're walking up to these couple of these hobbit houses. Remember, these were built in our factory, brought wow. over here. And look at this. Look at just you guys are going to have Love to just it. stop this video, all right? Put it on pause. And just look soak at it. it in. Enlarge it if you can on your phone or whatever, your tablet. And soak this thing in. Amanda, come here and just... I love it. Kind of tour all this. Now, this particular design, which I really... Uh, Joe and I had talked about this design. Um, previously, we had two ones before this. And I said, Joe, we need to do it a little bit more economical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little more feasible. And... I just love this design. I, I love how, too. if you guys will see those rafters up there, right? So there are log rafters that go through the wall into the other wall, right? And it's actually rafters that holds the roof up. This home is built out of the ESP panels. Is that not crazy? You would never know that. Yeah, there is no never. studs framing in the walls. This mm -hmm. is ESP panels, and so is that one over there. Is this not cool? I mean, just stunning wow they are such a beautiful shape beautiful design there is no way denying that it's a hobbit house you know what? i adore them wow look at that and this just shows right here when we talk about diy we just talked about yep this, this is it right yourself. here joe this did a diy diy he did a yeah. diy yeah we stuccoed Gorgeous. it we framed it we got it completely built he didn't have to do anything structurally or mechanically or anything. I love it. And so he had to just come here and he had fun putting all the vines and the flowers How and fun. the little brick. Was he a little brick fireplace on it? Just so Let's walk around here, Amanda. Fun. So we did the stucco. We did this live edge, right? And you can do this to your incredible box if you wanted to. You can put your corners on here and just stucco it on there. Look at this. I mean, just so you know, when we talk about ESP and Incredibox, it's the same material. Yeah. We just want you to know this is it. This is it. This is an ESP oh. Incredibox material right here. Oh, and the vines and yeah. the windows. Yep. They even stained it. He stained it himself. Gorgeous. I like it. Look, it's not perfectly stained. It's got brush it's marks and all that beautiful. stuff. Who cares? I love it, man. Oh, my gosh. It's just stunning. Yeah. I love it. I love, that's one of my favorite windows right there, that rectangle yes. shape. Yeah. Oh, my. It's up high. It brings some indirect light in there. Yes. Yep. We can't go inside, everyone. I know you're going, oh, I want to go inside. I know. They do have guests, but we there's, thought we could show you the But read the big window at the end. Stop I'm not going to show in there, but how. They need a waterfall. Right? Yeah, they do need a waterfall. They'll yeah. get there. I'm sure they've got one. Oh, they got their luggage and everything. Yeah, they got their there. luggage and everything. Now, okay, so all let's right, so go. here's number two. Randy, just pow. Look at that. Pow. Yep. That's pretty. Bam. That is super pretty. Yeah. I love it. And if everybody will remember, whenever um, Mike was building, I guess it was this one, he was doing those, the little... The, the end yeah, of the, yeah, Mike. The Mike come up with all trees. that, and then Joe just took it around and said, "Let's just go with so it," you know. Cute. Yeah, I'm the little log ends. Yeah. I mean, who would 
want to stay. You want to stay in a hobbit house? Who wouldn't want to stay in one of these? No, I'd rather much rather stay in this than a rather conventional one. I know the sure. conventional ones. I mean, you know, that's fine. But I'm, I'm telling you what, this makes me look want at this one rock. House. Now, Joe probably would be here. He'd point this out. Look this notch they've cut out. Yeah. Or it came like this, notched out. It's perfect. To put into the corner of that. Uh -huh. I love it. They put all this here to hide all the plumbing oh, and all the stuff. I know it, man. This is so beautiful. Now, our guys did this. Our guys put the, this frame yes. up. They did all this right here. We did this at the shop. You know, the stucco, the live edge, the framing around that window. Now, Joe, the owner, brought in that frame. Yeah. But, brought man, to make that waterproof and to make it work, I remember it was wow. a lot of work. Look at this window. Remember yep. Mike doing I this? Do. His guys? Yep. I do. So pretty, man. Oh my gosh. Mm. It just has so much character and it's a new build. Yeah. Brand that's new. what's that's where you have to get creative. It's like it's a new build if you want it to look Where can over. you go in the country? Anywhere. Any tiny home. There's nothing like this in the entire country, Amanda. And look at look at this. Look at this glass. That is. I mean, <laughs> I gotta Are see if this door is open. I gotta see if the door's open. See if the door's open. Oh, oh yeah. They got Come on. Messed up now. Okay. Look. You guys are gonna want this. Come on in there. Look here. Oh my. God. Look at this door. Look at the door. Look here. The handle. And the light and the eave here that we built. God. I love the purple and the green. Yeah. Hey, and no, this right, this no. stuff right here, you can just order off of Amazon. It's like a boxwood artificial. Look, 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 look what we got here. I ain't believing this. Look at that. <laughs> you go, Lord help and mercy. Oh, you better hurry, sneak right. in there. I'm sneak in there you stay, Ace. I'm just going to take a peek. You stay. Oh my gosh. There might be people in here. Go on in there. I'm not going in there. No, step on the rug. No, there's people stuff in here. Oh, there is. Okay. Yes. Oh my gosh. How beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. Great job. I'm not going to step in there. People are really mad. Look out the window, the view, just of the greenery back in the holler, back in there. This is what Gorgeous. it's going to look like over on the mountain, Amanda. I'm pretty sure we were told not to look in here. <laughs> well, the door was open. <laughs> well, you know what? They should have locked the door. Oh, my goodness. How beautiful. Absolutely love it. Yeah. So hey, here's two Look at this door. Look. You see that? Boom. Boom. Come on. I'm talking. It's a 60-inch Hobbit door. Talk we built this. Talk about the difficulty with the very first. Let's get in the shape. The very first Hobbit door compared well, to what you The very up. first one I did, I did it on my own. I did it with just wood and hinges, and it worked quite well for a few years. I went back and replaced yeah. it, but then I started working with iron, yes. and I started working with, say, how can I bend angle iron? Mm -hmm. And come to find out there are companies, and I'll just tell you where I got it from. I got it from, well, should I tell my secret? I would not tell I it. ain't going to tell you. How you about that? If you tell it, I'm going to edit it out anyway. <laughs> I got a great way of doing that, and it's awesome. It's, it's awesome. Super quick and efficient, and, and we I love know building you it. Don't, nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. And it took some ingenuity to make sure it work, did. but now we can pump them out like chicklets. Ah, yeah. chicklets. So, so that's gosh, gorgeous. Enjoy that home. So we, this is two of them. This is yeah. two. We got three more up on the hill. Let's take a walk. All right. So now we're up on the second level, down here, and it kind of comes up. You guys can walk up through here. Yep. And it overlooks the bottom portion and some mountains. Remember, we're in the foothills of the Smokies. Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, Sevierville, everything's over here. Dollywood is in this area. So in the second level, we've got three Hobbit houses up here that you can stay. They actually, one of the guests is here. Yeah. He moved his car for us. And this is a Hobbit house. This is similar, a little bit similar. This was for one of the first two that we built. Uh, first three, I'm sorry, that we built. And then we changed up the design. Mm -hmm. But still... When you put, this is an ESP panel that we used to build this. And then when you start throwing all the vines on here. It's gorgeous. It just changes the whole look of it with the stucco behind it. And that's a synthetic stucco that we used. And so he took a pot, Amanda, and he started grabbing from the real ivy, mm -hmm. right? And you mix it. And this is what I, like exactly, exactly what we want him to do. And it starts clinging it takes off. to the vines. And then next mm -hmm. spring, this thing will take off again. So hopefully it'll look like Amanda's house when you're done. It'll be covered. It'll be covered in ivy. Gorgeous. Is that not cool? It is beautiful. This was a labor of love. This was one of our first ones we built, and Joe built this. And I mean, just the intricate details that they put rope around the access yes. panel. 
rope here is a handle to get in. And that's what our guys did that at the shop. They did it at the shop, mm -hmm. yeah. This one here, most of the, the decorations were done get here, but all the woodworking and all the way the eaves are and the trim and all that was done oh, in the yeah. shop. It's yeah. gorgeous. And the, of course the homeowner, and this is what the deck is called DIY, decorating it yourself. Decorate it yourself. Is, is the yellow door. And then all the little finial little things that they put in, of course, and all the decorations on the inside. But Joe and his gang put these big rocks, put them in here, decorating it. This is the landscaping that creates that atmosphere. And landscaping, let me tell you something, is no oh. lot expense. No, I, <laughs> My goodness, the gravel and everything that they've put down, the landscaping is very expensive. Look at the outdoor setting I that they've brought it. here, Amanda. I absolutely love this. And it overlooks down at the bottom, the main highway down there, but overlooks these mountains. Isn't this gorgeous? I love now, this it. was just a hillside, okay? Here, let me show you this. So this was just a hillside. It just flows down, mm -hmm. and he took some old metal. Yeah. Actually, him and I got I in. We bought this metal together, yeah. him and I, mm -hmm. but he took it and made it a retaining wall, love right? It. Filled it up, and then you create this little sitting area. This is what I love about mountain property yes. is because it's just not flat and no personality. Well, it's just it like tears, you create what you want. It tears where you can have levels of different things, yeah. you know? Gives it different... We always use texture, you know? Yeah, exactly. So, I love that they put an outside table. Uh, that's really cool. No, here, Amanda, look at this. Another one of the big glass that they wanted on here. Stunning. And he's taking that same theme of these round ends of the logs. These are yes. cedar logs. And used it for his entry when he comes in. So that same kind of feel is broadcasted throughout the whole development. Isn't that cool? It's so beautiful. Yeah. It's so neat to be able to see this come through after you come back, you built them, you park them. I need to come and see what it's done. And then you come and see. Let me just kind of get close up here on the, the, and this is cedar, right? These were cedar. Yeah, the cedar ends. They're like ends. about a thick, an inch thick. And he placed yeah. them all on there. And then we had to actually chink between each one of them. You know, it felt like Mike was doing them forever. Remember when he was doing oh, it? Yeah. It was like, oh my gosh. And it's very time consuming. Yeah. Wow. Now this is our typical 10 by 20 floor plan, mm -hmm. Mando. So we did, we just did some 10 by 20s when we sold out the Grove. Yes. This is that floor plan. This is the floor plan. It's just a different tech, different outside building. Yep, the architecture. I absolutely love it. I love what they've done decorating it. Are right. we ready to go inside? Can we go inside? I think we can go in these three. Actually, can we go in this one, Joe? Awesome. Oh my. Okay, put your head in the last one. Awesome. Right, let's head and then inside. We'll get with Joe. Look at that door. Oh my God. I absolutely love it. <laughs> wow. Oh, Isn't this cool? Come on in. Yeah. I, I, ace. You no, stay, Ace. You stay. Oh. Wow. The feel. Hmm. <laughs> Oh my gosh, let me start at the bottom. Now, I love this. See how they put. Yep. Joe wanted brick. me to do that. I said, No, Joe, you got to do that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know what's great about it? If, with him not being a builder, I'm sure he has learned. Oh a lot, my like goodness. He just said. And all that's just, a homeowner can oh do all that. You stay God. ace. And you it stay. makes it fun, especially once you do know some oh stuff. Oh my goodness. Just take it in, guys. This wow. is so pretty. And our guys did all the woodworking in here, all the rafters, all the rope, all the trim. The flooring, the wow. windows. Wow. Now, he stained the floor. This, oh. But this is the old wood floors that we used, Amanda. Is it? And I love this. Yeah, I love this flooring. But, you know, we had people having issues of it splitting. And I said, I'm not going to do it. But oh. I would put a wood floor in every house I built. I love the wood floors. Look at this. Now, look. And they put their TV up there. Yeah, above the doors. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. Now, look. This is what I want to show you what we did. So he put a TV up here. There's no plug up there, right? Right. So we didn't know. He didn't know if he wanted to put a TV sure. there. Ran the cord down the side in there. What's wrong with that? You can't. You don't even see it unless but, you point it out. But it's kind of homey, you know. It's kind of. Now nice. I love this. I love these are the extra touches that you want to do. Do you see that right there? Yeah. That's just a chain. You're gonna grab that like a. It's as you go a, outside. As you go outside to hold on to go down. No, that's nice little touches. Yeah. Oh my gosh! They you have stay a beautiful. Ace. You stay. Leather couch, great big couch. In See here. now, think about it. this floor plan is we've got 
at the Grove. Oh, it looks so great. Isn't it something? So look, you've got a full-blown sofa. You can do this to your house. A full-blown sofa. Oh, it's so pretty. Look here, somewhere to sit. Yep, that's a dining room table. Look, and then you have your living room. Stop it. Oh my gosh. I'm Tell me these aren't just stunning. Look at these. This was extra touches that was Ace. done. No, you stay. Burnt rope. Open it up. Water cut off. With <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yep. Guess we you, got a leak. My God, you can have fun with this house. Oh, man. Modern conveniences in a very old Hobbit stop. Somebody's got two paws in here. Oh, yeah. He's halfway. You stay mm -hmm. right there. We see what's going on. Wow. So we go to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And they wanted a simple kitchen, nothing real elaborate. Yes. And changed it around a little bit we had a cooktop so we did put one here yes. mm -hmm. right instead of the fridge and this and so the homeowner said i want the fridge here at the end look at the retro fridge my goodness and yep. that's the same kind of car he has yeah yeah they got a red fridge like that here's your barn door brand. oh yeah let me show let me show it up to down up to the down okay beautiful mm, cool let's see how this bathroom yeah oh wow look at the beadboard so they added the beadboard. There's a little closet. What don't they have here? I mean, it's got everything you need. Yeah. Well, this design, we have, we went through this design time and time, and I told them, I mm -hmm. said, this is a great rental design. Yeah. What's up? This 32. 32-inch shower. 32. It's all you need. Now, look at the rope trim around the top and the barn wood, man. Let look. me show the top of it. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Beautiful. And you can do this to any, you can even do this to an Incredibox. Let me look at this angle right here look at there so nice that is so nice wow no yeah. look at the even the touches here yeah well there was a lot of time i a remember paying you guys to do them. it it's just went on, on forever the i know it was just like a day that's, that's when i told done. joe i said we can't do this again we've got to change it Change yeah. with a little bit of the platform here. Yes. There was a lot of touches. But you know what? It was great. Our first ESP Hobbit Houses. So that was a yeah. great experience. Yeah, it was cool. Learning experience. Wow. Oh, and look at this. Storage. You know, there's a lot of Hobbit homes that people have tried to do for resorts, right? And yes. Amanda, they have spent hundreds of thousands of oh, dollars. Oh, so much money. And here you got a tiny home that we can do out of ESP panels. And if you add a little DIY yourself, mm -hmm. look what you can do. We do all yes. the mechanicals for you that you don't have to worry about it being wired or plumbed right, you know. Oh, my gosh. But look at the, this is old barnwood. You just oh did a little bit. Oh, my gosh. It's Man. so beautiful. Now, I know Joe came in here and finished that barnwood a little bit more. He finished mm -hmm. it and then put a little bit of, you know, I think they've got a little bit of urethane on here. It looks like a little bit of a shine. Because I remember we put the barnwood on here and barnwoods can be really nasty. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. right. The guys do not like working with barnwood. I'm going to head up these stairs. You stay. Oh my goodness, look how pretty this is. Now we're going to the bedroom. You want to go up there up top? You go ahead. It's kind of sure? tight up there, yeah. Okay. So I'm going up. Oh, wow. Isn't this beautiful? Wow. Nice light. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my goodness. I love how they have some metal that uh, Mike put up there, the metal and the wood mixed. Look at this. Yeah, this one was a little bit tight on the rafters part of it because yes. they got the ceiling and we made some changes. But still, it's oh, super gosh, cozy, steel. man. Well, this is a... This isn't a twin. It's a. Is this a full? It's a full. That looks like a queen. It's a. It's a bigger bed. In the big bed up here, man. Now I can stand up right here. Yep. But That's where we designed it. Yep. That's where you can stand, stand on that last one. Yep. Yep. And I mean, so it's comfortable. Head's, yeah, it's comfortable. And the steps are made just like a regular residential home step. Yes. They're just not as wide. And there's still like a little uh, airway right yep. there. So and cubby. also they've added a fan so the air can come through, but the fan will help with it as well. You're right. Awesome. I love it. All right, we'll head back down. And here's, of course, your uh, egress window. Yep. In case of emergencies, yep. get out of here. That's right. Now, the staircase, believe it or not, being kind of narrow like this mm -hmm. is almost a safety thing because you can kind mm -hmm. of rest on here. If you're going, you can lean up against it. You know, you grab yep. something. It's just 
super convenient. I know it looks a little different maybe on video, but wow. I absolutely love it. All right, we better, we got two more we got to look it, we into. We got two more to do. So let me show the outside. And I knew he'd end up getting, look at him. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. Stay, ace. And this one, just a reminder, this was the teal one. Teal yeah. I don't know what they're numbered or what they're called or what. Yeah, so. We're up on the hill in the teal. Okay. Okay, here, now we're at our second up on the hill. We got the one more to do for you. Guests just arrived, so we're going to do a quick little tour. They did. This is another ESP home, just like the one downstairs, or downstairs, down below, with the rafters sticking out. Same floor plan, Beautiful. up high picture window. Yeah. This is the bathroom window in the back here. But remember, these are made out of the ESP panels, just like our Incredit boxes. With the stucco and then the homeowner, of course, Joe and his, and his gang came here and put the lights and stained it, put the mm -hmm. vines on it. Let's walk around here. Hey. Hi. We're going to look at your house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so All right. much for letting us do that. Yeah. Oh, look, it's like a little oasis. When we came here before, this one wasn't here. No, no that's right. this one wasn't here. So let me get over here where I can see it really good. Oh, my gosh. Look at it nice. Oh, my gosh, so pretty. You know what I like? Manda, he painted the, 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 stain, the trim one color yes. and up there another color. And then up around here. And does this not look like a Mediterranean feel? This looks very Mediterranean. I yes. love it, man. Look at the, the vines and the stuff and, and the where greenery. They placed it. It's so this, beautiful. I, and look, it's got this tree in front of it. This gives it just like a little cozy area, you know? This is beautiful. I'm trying to stay away from the sun to get that glare off so you can see it good. Let me see if I can go back here and you can get a really full shot. Well, there's trees in the way, but you get the gist. It is so beautiful. Man. Cozy little, look at that. Oh my. Look at that flowers. This is so pretty. You know what? I love flowers and I do plants and stuff, man. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Okay, are we ready to go inside? Let's go inside. Look at, I, well, let me show the outside. The door, they put actual, we put the metal on the, the barnwood metal on the outside. It sure did, yep. Let me show that really quick, how pretty that looks. Wow. And just for a little overhang, same thing. Yeah. Just simple. Gorgeous. All right, let's head inside. All right, everybody, let's look inside. Okay. Look here, we got a teenager in here, Amanda. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, there's people in. No, okay. they're fine. No, they're they're fine. Everybody's okay. okay. Now this one's totally different. Okay. Because it's painted and everything. All right. We got her. She's just she's just okay? TikToking. Oh, they don't care. They're fine. She's TikToking. I don't have TikTok on my mom's phone. Oh, you don't? <laughs> Tell her to get it. You're good. You just no, stay you're right fine. there. Oh my gosh. Look. They painted it. I see they painted What's it. What's up, brother? Hi, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> We're just oh, coming to video the goodness. house real quick. Wow. So they painted this instead of all the wood exterior. Yeah. We built the house. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Oh, Y'all did a great job. It oh, well, thank so you. so cute. What's it like to be all four of you guys in here? Um, It's a little cramped at times, especially like with it. the couch pulled out. But it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. We actually went into the wrong house. The other day. Did oh, you? really? We got some things, but we went into that one on accident. Oh. Um, I one thing I do enjoy um, is uh, how many windows there are. I love the fact that it, it makes it feel more open. Yes. There you go. Right. Like, yeah. The windows Look don't at make the, I forgot about these. Open. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. All the hopper windows. About. Look at that. And the great big one. Dang it. There's oh, the another one. There's yeah. Oh, school. you'll get stink bugs. They're, that's just one, two, the three, fall four. of the year. Wait, where? Five. They won't. They won't bite you. Wow! Look at that big window, Randy. Isn't that neat? Yeah, and you got a little sitting area. Wow! Beautiful. You know, painting this, I really like. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't have thought that I like it, but I actually do like it. It is so much brighter than that other one, you know. Yeah, but I do like it. Hey, look at their fridge on the end of the counter. I see how they got that. that. So it's painting. Cool. Another thing I enjoy is how it's like. You've got like a mix of like modern, right? Yeah, kind of stuff in here, but then you've got like kind of like more like just like oh, yeah, that light fixture, right? Items, and then mix in some nature here and there with the like. Now, don't you have a that right there? Uh, the uh, tiny home development in yeah, the in, Newport? in Newport. Yeah, sure do. We're originally from Knoxville. Oh, okay. So yeah, we live in much Nashville. larger than you okay. Would yep. Yeah, we build. We build them in uh, Newport. In we build these, and it's pretty cool, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is. 
or how do we what's your website incredible what's your tiny homes okay because dot see, com my co-worker Dwayne he's 56 57 yeah he wants to retire to a tiny home there you go you all right here's our final hobbit house and we're getting back into the, all the wood from almost the modern mediterranean look back here to this ah, i don't know what to choose from I go in there and I like all the painted. Then I come back over here and I'm like, ah, I love I all the wood and the so vines. Hard. And and that's box. What do you call that box? Boxwood. Boxwood mm -hmm. greenery that they got from Amazon. You just put it on there. It's artificial just decorated. Greenery. It's beautiful. Yeah, and they used the the little round cedar circles again. Yeah. The little door knocker, of course, with the Hobbit house is a flower boxes, barn wood trim, shutters. Look at the oh flower boxes up Look here, Amanda. I, I, there's so much to show. I know we showed this before, but a lot of people may not have seen. Yeah, just show oh. what you want there. This is just amazing. And it's just gorgeous. You know, I had forgotten how how much work it was. Yeah. do and just how beautiful they turned out this was the first one this was the first one yeah because i made custom. that round dormer up there which was a pain oh my gosh it was the first one wow look at that isn't that cool let me get out of the way you don't even have to like hobbit stuff to like this this is just a yeah. work of art it's really pretty you don't find a tiny home to look like this no that just that just kind of mesmerizes you now think this house was not a hundred thousand dollars no Amanda. it was not i'm so glad you just brought that you up. you know i mean i think this house went for probably 65 yeah something like that now for and that this one was completely custom yeah and think about it this and that's why at that price is why these guys can make a profit mm -hmm. on an Airbnb. They're not paying a hundred to hundred fifty thousand dollar mortgage on each one of these. It would take years to recoup what you Your put into it You're if right. you really if we charged what everyone else would charge. Yeah. That's yeah. The honest. And truth. that's why after we built this, it took a little bit too long to do this. Mm -hmm. And I came up with a couple other designs yes. that was able to maybe make it more streamlined. Yeah. You know? So beautiful. Wow, let's oh go inside. Let's go. All right, Ace, you can't go in here, buddy. I know you want to. Hang on, man. Say, I went in that other. You stay. Oh, oh man. How beautiful. Look at that. I'm I got to get out of here. I love with that. I don't need to even be in the picture. Oh, my God. I mean, wow. This is so beautiful. Let me start Stop at the bottom it. here. Oh, my. Yeah. Guys. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we like the white, and now we are back in this warm, beautiful wood. Well, you know what I'm a fan now of the white and the wood. I love it, Randy. Look. Yep. Oh my! I forgot how beautiful this one turned out. Stop, man. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That's it. Just look at this right here. I didn't think I would like the two windows, and I actually do. I can't get over a full sofa. Oh, no, I can't either. Just having this store-bought full... You got to sit here, and you stay, Ace. You stay. Sit here, man, and take a picture of that out that window oh, or that door. Oh, my goodness. Look. <laughs> that is a picture. Oh, this is so pretty. You can embellish, embellish, and embellish more. Uh, you just don't get tired of it. Wow. Oh, yeah. So pretty. Hmm. Look at him. And I'm loving this. I love that that is that right there on the is wall. That's nice. That's what you need. That's all you need. Yeah, that's a, a little cool... That's awesome. That's what everybody needs to get. Something like this to do. Just mount it. I mean, it's just a piece of wood that's been stained, right? Yep. Mount it up and get you a couple of stools. Sit there and eat. Hey, did you? That's all you, you need. You know, I just noticed the door, and mm -hmm. we framed that door in. And I remember to, we framed it to make it real sturdy. Yes. But Ace, you stay. <laughs> stay. Stay. And it 
outlines the door and the brick and the yes. wood and the red. God. This is stunning. I'm going to tell you what, Amanda. I don't know where you could find a prettier home than this. Well, they definitely wouldn't find it for this price. We know that. Remember, I remember putting the trees in here. I worked with Scott to put the trees in the corners and the rafters Dear and goodness. how to lay all this out. Yeah, and then we put ESP panels, yep, on the roof. Let me show the kitchen. Jeez, old Pete's. It just looks beautiful. I'm telling you what we should do. We should go around everywhere and just go to our houses across the country and show what everybody did with, with our homes. Yeah. Because this is impressive. These I, are not boxes, it. Manda. They're not. They're not boxes like they're tiny not. homes. They're bo these are beautiful works of art. Man. Oh, they're just so gorgeous. Good job, guys. Good job. Man. To give a beautiful foundation for people to be creative yeah. is so exciting. Man, this is just relaxed me. I swear I come in here and it's just... Oh, it feels so good. Well, I just enjoy that we did this. <laughs> Look how he creeps in, Randy. <laughs> He's got two paws in. And I'm going to go up top. Yeah, check out the bedroom. Of course, yeah. it's the same layout. 10 by 20. Staircase to a nice bed, man. Yep, stucco on both sides. Now, those sides reverse dormers, man, are, are eyebrow dormers. They're round. Oh. Yeah. If I have to say, up. yep, they're Something not easy handle. to build. Going up. Oh, Randy, you're going to have to come up here. Oh, my. Now, did you expect that? I didn't. I thought it would be the other way. How pretty is this? Oh, wow. my goodness. Uh, yep. And you got to crawl up in here, but it's just so, it's so worth cozy. it. Who wouldn't want to be here? Wow. I'm in love with it. Plenty of room right there on the side <clears throat> to scooch yeah. in there, so, crawl up in the bed. Isn't yeah. that beautiful? Yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Love it. This is really pretty. You know what, I'm, Amanda? I'm loving the imperfections. Me too, yes. Yep. I, that it's not that particular. I don't know if you guys can, like over in the corner right over there, mm -hmm. inside the corner, there's a log in the very corner. Yep. Okay, see that? All right, and it's stuck in it. Yeah. And then it's stuck out around it, and it just stops. Yeah, it it's just, just stops. That's just what's cool about it, man. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. Well. And you know what it's telling me to, I know this is a, um, a rental, but they're renting this. I can 100% live in this house. Oh, could you not? 100% live in this house. Yeah, nice. Oh, I didn't get to show this side. Okay, let me turn around. <laughs> so you get to look, lay in bed and you're going to look at this and you're going to look outside. All the woods and the trees and the grapevines. Get on Isn't out that here. beautiful? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could live here. No problem. Hey, I think they're wanting to get in, Amanda. Are they? Okay. Yeah. Come on, we'll go. You know what we'll do? Let's go talk to Joe. Yeah. And the gang, and they we can, they can tell their story. All exactly. right. Exactly. All right. All right. <sighs> no, no more snacks. You're good. All right. Here we're with the inventors and creators. You guys want to introduce yourself, there, buddy? I'm Joe. I'm Justin. He's my nephew. Yes. He's, he's my uncle. <laughs> so, how did this come about? A little bit. I know you've got such a life story, and and I know I've been wanting to just talk to you about. I didn't know that he was a big, big shot attorney, in Manhattan. I mean, we've talking. He's been around the world. He's done a ton of things. He's been all over the world too. A couple smart guys here, as you can see, what they've created, and um, so, what happened here? Well, a lot of people ask about the Hobbit theme, and uh, they say, oh, are you a Lord of the Rings fan? And the truth is, I like the first 10 minutes in the Shire. So, have you? are you familiar with the mm -hmm. movie? Yeah. And uh, you walk in, you know, the movie opens, and you're, and you're like, oh, th that's great. 
So you and, pause it and just start looking there, don't you? I'm like, I want to, I yeah. want to live there. Yeah. So um, it's a it's a garden style that I really really like, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I had never <coughs> built all this stuff for myself. You know, well we right. wouldn't. Yeah. But it sure is fun to watch people enjoy it. So. There you go. And then, well, wow. the the other the other day though, you came out of. Joe also lives on the property. He came out and he said, "I love living here." Oh, really? I yeah, do. it's so pretty. You create an environment you like being in. Yep. Yeah. Mm. And, you well, know, you've got the flowers and the well. Right now, you've got peak fall foliage, and we've got our little water fountains there in the back. Yep. So it's it's I kind see. of my little oasis too. I escape. Yeah. I, I escape during the day. Mm -hmm. So I, actually, I'm starting to work from out here. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So you've created this environment. You know, we were saying we were walking up here. I said this was just a hillside. I mean, and you just created all this stuff, this whole landscape. I remember when I got here, it was just a, but a flat mud, yep, level a spot. That was it. <laughs> but when you painted that picture in my head, the house is here, 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 and here. I mean, I I seen it. I seen kind of in my mind what you're gonna do, and then to come back and see it done, and we're relaxing under a structure that you built, and all this, the stuff that I like pointing out is. You just was having, it looks like you've been having fun throwing stuff together. And it wasn't something that, well, I don't care. You don't have to think of it structurally this way or it's going to last forever. And I remember you told me before, I just want it to look like like a stage or like a movie set. Yeah. Um, and it, it, it it's not designed in any particular way. Yeah. So I do one thing and then we move on to the next thing. And you then, create um, it. you know... I th I say, what about this? And Justin says, move it that way. <laughs> well, it's, I don't like the it's, color. It's funny. So Joe is very much kind of the creative here, and then I'm the kind of more. I'm the guy who likes to be organized and yeah. make everything nice and neat. So cool. yeah, it's usually Joe saying, "Hey, how about we do this?" And me saying, making some sort of face, but ultimately it's, yeah. Yeah, we work. We, end, together, we end up yeah. with what Joe wants to do. Oh. <laughs> Well, you know what? This is organized here. This is nice. And how you got things placed. So it floats really well. Yeah. You know? What, and, but not from a plan. It floats well because we're here all the time. Yeah. And you have, like, there was no plans for this wall. And, and you know, um, that's, so I enjoy looking at it because I don't feel like I created it. It's just something that kind of happened over time. Yeah, you evolved. Know, and Rachel's here. She put on a lot of those rounds in the front. And, yeah. You know, Good we job, had a Rachel. Colombian veterinarian help out and Herman, who you met. And <laughs> right. Everybody's just pitching in. Strange assortment of people. That's cool. It's, I love it. I love it. So I, I know you got some other other than tiny, uh, other than Hobbit houses here. Yeah. And that's from oh, some people partnering up with you. Yeah. If you uh, want to stay in one of these, there's three and another one coming early next week. Uh, you can go to WeCasa.com. WeCasa. Yeah. And I know they originated out there in Colorado. In Colorado. They got and a now really nice resort. Yeah. So now they're expanding yes. and they're wanting to go because it was a, a good idea, yes. I guess. And it's Airbnb, right? Uh, no, they booked through their site. That's why I gave it out. Well, I mean, it's oh, an you, overnight rental. It's an overnight rental, yes. And you can find them on Airbnb. But yeah. It's, uh, well, I, I guess, you know, it's a, I'd use that as a general term, but it's overnight rental is what they're into all over the country. Cool. And we are... Uh, just for the record, we're Mountainshire dot or MountainshireTN dot com. MountainshireTN dot com. So, so Justin's we, building the site. Yeah. Yeah. No, we we have we have a kind of a placeholder website right now, but we'll have um, you know a brand new website that we've built here in a couple of weeks. There you go. So cool. We'll and you can go online. Fully you customized. Book. You yeah. go right on there, book, and then we've got our YouTube channel, Mountainshire TN. Also, and good. The, there's not a booking fee, so it's nice for people to save a little money. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. We're supposed so to directly to you guys and it's a better price for staying the night. Yeah, yep. it's a better price because all the other fees aren't on top of it. Right. Good deal. Yep. That's good. Are you guys staying pretty well booked? You, how are you looking? Yeah, yeah. Our, our numbers look really strong. So nice. people, I think, have turned out that they, they like the Hobbit theming. Right. And it didn't take long to take off. How long y'all been doing this now? Oh, our, our first tiny house opened in uh, very late December 2021. Okay. So we haven't even been open for a year yet. Right. But, uh, true, yeah, I, I mean, I, it caught on. Oh, What yeah, do you think uh, was the marketing end of it? What made it catch on so quick? Well, I think we've, we've got really nice pictures, really full, complete descriptions in Airbnb. Mm -hmm. um, 
on Airbnb. Airbnb Those likes likes what Got we've done. The algorithm. algorithm, yeah, the algorithm has picked us you up. Kind of nice. Finesse it. Yeah. So yeah, we, we get a lot of people wish listing our tiny houses, and then it, you know the conversion on you know number of views versus time it takes to, for somebody to so book is really pho- good. So it being photography friendly. Yep. Man, people share it and go. You yep. can't believe it, and that's what's caused that more of that. Got yep. it. Instead of just being a tiny home, right? Yeah, and I, and I, Joe and I were talking before we started about theming. Um, so the debate was whether to have kind of generic tiny houses or mm-hmm. themed tiny houses. Yeah. Um, and you know, I think the the Hobbit the Hobbit themed tiny houses have, have really That's caused our numbers to go up. Exactly. You know, if they were more generic, there's other tiny houses in this area. Yeah. Because they're Hobbit themed, our stand out. You got it. Yep. I remember when I started our co- my company, Incredible Tiny Homes, and I thought we could build themed resorts and they could change. See, okay, you got your Hobbit, and then we could do a Victorian looking house, and then we could do a modern house or a, a Southwestern looking home. Yep. And then if people 15 years down the road, of course, you probably won't change, you got a lot, but you could actually switch out that theme and put another theme there, you know, because they're tiny homes and they're on wheels, and so they're transportable. I hate that they, they a lot of municipalities say, oh yeah, we want your tiny homes, but you got to have a permanent foundation. You got to have all these things. The beauty of it is these houses are still portable. Yeah. You know, I don't know how we're going to get through your gate. Oh, we go around the end of it, can Yeah, you go around the end. Yeah, but uh, it's just neat. Yeah, and uh, the reason we're allowed to keep them on wheels here is this is a campground. There you go. So it's a we, It's a commercial lot. Beautiful. Anyone who saw the first video, you had yeah. promised to make some plaques for us. Yeah. We got to do that. It's not like you're too busy. So. I know. <laughs> so we'll put incredible. We need something whimsical. It'll be Just incredible it tiny homes. Cute. It'll fit your motif. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll get on that. Thank you for wanting to give us credit for the things that we've done too. So well, appreciate uh, that. Um, a million people ask me, and um, and they like it. And we, you know, I don't know if if our referrals, if you ever know they come from us, or if they ever follow up. But we do share your information well, you. with a lot of people. I appreciate that. Because, yeah. you know, we're proud of it. You should be proud of it, I hope. I'm very proud. We're, that's why we came here today to, to view them again. And it's just to go back and see all the decorations that you put in it. It's fun. Right? Yeah, and then I remember the structural and how we built them. And it's like, this yeah. is really nice to see it come all the way through and see what it looks like. So yeah. Yeah. There was something else you wanted to say, Justin. What was it? I was not supposed to forget. Did you forget? No. I mean, we what already said it. Our our Facebook and YouTube and our website. So Mountainshire okay. TN. Mountainshire TN. com. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Mountainshire TN is Tennessee, and this is where we're at in East Tennessee. Right near Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, Sevierville. I mean, this is the Mecca. 14 million people come here a, a year. It is building more Dollywood. They're putting a new park in. I talked to somebody who's coming here, and they said that within the next three to five years, you're looking at 21 million people coming here a year. Yikes. You know, this is the number one place for overnight rental income producing for investors like you all in the world. And that's why I moved here. In the world. Yeah. Like better than Switzerland, world. Europe, anywhere. It is rated as the number one investment place for overnight rentals. Wow. All right. Try to keep that a secret. Okay. I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good deal. Um, the other thing is we're going to have a little barbecue here, and I want to thank you for coming over because we built this space. I just want to see some people in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I, I, This is an awesome place to hang out, man. Yeah. Beautiful. I mean, I can see coming down here in the evenings and sitting back. It and looks going. groovy at night. Yeah, you know, I can tell. I'm, I'm a big fan of solar lights. Um, you, you just can, say groovy? Uh, yeah. I love <laughs> groovy. It is groovy. It is. I like these lights with the rope. I never seen that. Twenty three bucks on Amazon. Twenty three dollars. Isn't that neat, Manda? I see, I should send you my shopping list. I have uh, all the st- the different things that I buy because I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours looking at stuff. Oh. If you're just like yeah. looking for fixtures that are you're like these are cool. Yeah. I mean. It takes time to hunt that stuff, man. That's what I'm saying. I got wow. hundreds of hours into it. You have no problem with good hard rains coming in here, water. It looks like it all runs really well. Uh, it, Your it, it used to be, uh, we, we get a little flooding there, but mm-hmm. we patch it. Yeah. And um, we get a little flooding along the road, but we're trying to, to fix that. Right, right. But uh, it has to be, uh, you know, you know, when we were building this, we got nine inches of rain in about 
two hours. Wow. Where the water was coming off the mountain, straight over the road, straight, I mean, Gosh. that made a giant mess. Yeah. And, uh, you know, yeah. something like that happens every couple of years. You'll get something like that. Yeah. Well, well you know, with I, your... I think one of the solutions was Slope Master. So we use, mm -hmm. you can see that clover right along yeah, the slope. Yeah, I was I mean, just going to so say. It's so thick, it really breaks up the water. We walked up that, and Ace was rolling around it and almost disappeared. I said, all that now will cause that rain to just dissipate. Yep. yep. Slow it down. Yeah, the clover works really good. You don't have to uh, mow it. And before the 1970s, lots of yards were clover. It's a great and it's very hobbity right it gets certain height and that's it that's it yeah, it's so natural too like yeah uh, the bees love it we get rabbits all sorts of little wildlife creatures come in and eat it and then just so over. we're putting a barn up there for some goats and some chickens so i consider chickens like walking flowers you know they just walk around yeah you know and they'll lay some eggs and we planted a garden up there so yeah. and we're put some blueberries and raspberries and everything you need in a hobby this village. is it this home for you guys yeah, it's nice. Mr. Green Jeans was supposed to stop by, but he's yeah he's always late. <laughs> yeah, Mr. We, Green we have Jeans. our own Mr. Green Jeans. Right, right. Well, Amanda, I think that's it. I enjoyed this tour with you guys. Thank you for letting us come out again. Oh, seeing it finally come, man, this is awesome. So, and um, seeing your handiwork, and you know what, I I actually I don't know why. Maybe you just painted such a good picture for me when I first got here with nothing here. And it just, I can, I've seen it. And it's like, and now it's here. What are we going to do next? That's yeah, I know. <laughs> I got lots of ideas. Yep. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Yep. Appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it.